of San Francisco, California. The white dot covering you on the far shore as you Many of you ever had an experience like that? <laughs> Fun, isn't it? Yes. Um, okay, if, uh, unless, again, questions? Nothing too much to question about that. Uh, Sir? Go ahead. Go ahead. Did you notice any, later when you really got a chance to look at it, did you notice any other damage in the foam core or anything that you couldn't see at first? No, no damage at all. Um, as a matter of fact, we'll, we're in this second uh, tape. We go through that. I wish we had time to go through the whole tape. Uh, no damage. No damage to the wing. No damage to the primary structure anywhere. So we were, we're just real lucky. Um, would you like to see how it's made? Anybody? Yes. Yeah. Another question. No. <laughs> that was yeah. a yes. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah, you had another question. There, was there a question in the back? Oh, yes, sorry. So, in the final analysis, the, the engine stopped due to what part going to idle? Or? Actually, what happened was the ferrule that I soldered on the end of that throttle cable went, came off and was ingested, went into the rotary valve, chewed the rotary valve up, went in down inside the, the that cylinder, and just ground to a halt. Uh, that ferrule is on the end of the throttle cable to lift the slide? That's right, yeah. Uh, I've been told since that the motorcycle racing guys put a little screen underneath that. Those people who use that same kind of Bing carburetor. So I get smart, but it takes me a little while. Uh, Is the engine fairly stock? Very. I've never had the head off. Right out of the box. Yeah. Never checked the timing. It's a dual CDI or, or a point emission? It's dual uh, CDI. We'll have to well, you know, you it's, they uh, set them at the factory, but who knows? How did, you, how did you attach that landing gear so that that spar didn't take that load and make that back 30 degrees? Actually, it's not so much how we attached the landing gear. We just made it beefier than the than the gear would. Um, we made the land. We made the attachment fitting in the wing able to carry more load than the gear would carry. So it was just a um, just. Uh, Max, let's roll up to uh, one o five ten. Now, as I mentioned, this film on the construction of the airplane is two hours long, so I'm looking for some little pieces that I can show you that will sort of give you an idea of how we did them. Sir. Yeah, I flipped a quick view over much slower rate of speed, and just kind of an observation. You stayed with the living, the cowling didn't catch. Well, that's the truth, too. Uh, the other advantage that I have is that that has a very long nose. So, you know, I really, it, it requires some more lever when you have a long nose like that. But you're absolutely right. What happened was that a rounded cowl just slid along very nicely. It didn't scoop very much, so. Sir? Why'd you do away with the large spinner to start with? Uh, it wouldn't stay on the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> we had some vibration problems with that rocking couple that uh, is unique to, to uh, two-cylinder uh, engines, two-strokes in particular. And it shook so badly we couldn't, we just had a lot of trouble keeping it on. Uh, that cost us one afternoon to fly the airplane without the spinner. I assumed, as a matter of fact, the first time I flew it without the spinner, I figured it was going to blow that towel wide right open. That great gaping hole up there, uh, with very little, with only 23 square inches of uh, exit area, uh, but it didn't. And I was very surprised to see that the airplane went just the same speed with or without the cowl. Incidentally, Bruce Carmichael has done some work with uh, um, the Navy on um, flat nose torpedoes. And what they've discovered is that whether the, the nose is flat or round, as long as the wetted area is the same, there's no difference. As long as you fare it back from, the, from that flat face, there's no difference in drag. It's remarkable. So, uh, similar, exactly the same thing occurred on the uh, V-22. Uh, they call them uh, trash can spinners. Because they look yeah. like a, they look like a square trash can, and they found absolutely no difference. Yeah, defies logic. But 
That's all that happens when you turn on those lights first. That's max volume and another friend of his in my basement with two guitars. That's Max's band. 